Rich, you are an executive storyteller, and we know that people tell stories, especially for job seekers whenever they are going for an interview, especially with the question, tell me about yourself. So they tell their story. In that sense, what tips do you have for job seekers in how to tell their story to a potential employer? This is like unbelievably important uh, for the job seeker. Tell me your story is a question that is always going to be asked. Okay, you know that, I know that. Here's a couple things you have to keep in mind. You could have your story, you know, lined up, whatever it is. You could talk about your education and your experiences or whatever, but just take the risk of just talking about you, like really, really you, who you are at your core. Like, you know, I'm, I'm obsessed with Marvel comics. You know, I'm, 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 I, I've watched uh, Endgame like 12 times, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all this. just take the time for them to build a connection. If you have any, any chance to, to look up who, you, who is interviewing you, I've done this before. Um, a long time ago, someone I knew I was going to be interviewing with her. I looked up, it was, it was a panel. Uh, so the interviews were like kind of uh, spread out. I looked up every single person and then one of them was a marathon runner and I happened to have run a couple marathons. And, um, you know, so, uh, what I did was made sure somehow, some way I got that in the conversation, right? Like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good today. My legs are a little bit sore. I did 12 miles. And she's like, Oh, you're a runner. I'm like, Oh yes, I am. Do you run? <laughs> so well, um, personal connections. Exactly, exactly. Like the business connection. Look, you have to think about them. Okay, stop thinking about you. Think about them. Like, no one likes to sit around and do interviews all day. Okay, I, I promise you, they don't. So if you can make it more personal, like they feel like they connected with someone on on a personal level, fundamentally, number one, that's going to be good. Now, storytelling is very, very important for the next piece, which is. Like, like they're going to ask you about your experience and, and, and it's up to them to determine whether or not your experience, to, you know, fits in what they need. But here's the thing, Maher, they did not write the job description. Okay. The job description is usually very inaccurate. It is, it is standard. Someone else wrote it. Someone who doesn't do that job. This is what we need because we need to check these boxes. What you can do to separate yourself as a storyteller is ask that person, what is their biggest pain point in that job right now? And then be ready to tell them how you could solve their immediate problem. Mm -hmm. Because if you are able to tell them that you can do the job, that they need solved and the problem right now, then it's literally like, okay, then from there, it's just formalities. Yeah. So, so that's one aspect of it. And the second is, again, if you've already established that personal connection and that person looks as you, looks at you as someone who is interested in solving their pain, you are gonna have a much better relationship. They are gonna remember you tremendously. So, so keep that in mind next time you're applying for a job. Think about the interviewer, okay? Not you, think about the interviewer and that could change everything. Yeah. That's a great tip, uh, Rich, thank you very much. And uh, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in how to be prepared for a job interview or how to tell your story, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Rich.